Hi and welcome to a new video. Are you having trouble turning on your iPhone 14? In this video, I will show you simple solutions to resolve this problem on your device. Let's go. Whenever this problem occurs, the usual reason is that your device may not have enough battery power. To resolve, simply charge your iPhone for at least half an hour. Make sure to use an original or an MFI certified cable to ensure that your device will charge properly. If you don't have one yet, click on the tag at the top right corner or find the link in the description to purchase it. After charging your iPhone for a while, try turning it back on again. You can also try to force restart your device. This approach is very simple, but it frequently fixes any minor software glitches on your iPhone. For iPhone 8 or newer models, quickly press and release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button and release it when the Apple logo appears. If you're using an older iPhone model, you can refer at the tag in the top right corner or find the link to the Apple support page in the description below to know how to force restart your device properly. Another option for resolving this problem is to install a repair tool on your computer. For this, I recommend Tenorshare Reboot, which addresses nearly all software issues on your iPhone. This method is quite practical because it will also immediately update your iPhone to the most recent iOS version in addition to fixing any software glitches. Aside from that, it also works both on Mac and Windows PC. However, please note that most of its features require a paid subscription. If you want to try and test it out, you can download the software by clicking on the tag at the top right corner or find the link in the description below. Upon installation, launch Reboot on your computer and click the Start button. Next, click on Standard Repair. The program will then automatically provide the latest firmware that is compatible with your device. After that, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the repair process. When the repair is finished, your iPhone will automatically reboot and the problem should now be resolved. Unfortunately, if none of the methods worked, the problem could be due to a hardware malfunction. Perhaps you may have dropped your iPhone or encountered any situation that could have resulted in physical damage to your device. For hardware-related issues, the best solution is to contact Apple support so that they can diagnose what went wrong with your device. If your iPhone is still covered under warranty, Apple will repair it for free. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.